Step one, get a medium saucepan and you're going to put four cups of water. Then we're going to add some flax seeds. Make sure they're whole flax seeds. And I prefer if they're organic, but that's just me. I love everything natural. Now we're going to add some flax seeds. So I'm putting coconut oil. Um, and this is lavender essential oil. Just for the smell and the flavor. Sometimes flaxseed still doesn't really smell like anything, so I like to put that. And here is 100% shea butter. I like to put in here because it's very thick. It's a gift to the hair and the skin. Mmm, yes. So, this moisture beautifying your hair improves luster and sheen to your hair. So that's why I added it in here. I put these two oils in because the first time I made it and it made my hair really, really pretty, but it left it flaky. So I was looking like I was snowing in the back. Like it was just flaky everywhere, even though the curls was just so defined and so pretty. So me experimenting and putting different oils in the Flaxy gel, I've learned that this is the best mix for my hair and I encourage you to try either one at a time or both, just to see how your hair reacts. Yes, does not flake at all, so I really, really love this mixture. I hope you guys try it out this way. Next, bring it to a boil, and you want, when you lift up your spoon, you want it like a mucusy kind of texture. I know it looks kind of gross, but you do want it kind of thick before you turn off the heat. And if you heat it up too long and it's too thick, when you... um. When you take it off the heat, it will not strain right at all. So make sure it's like a little loose, not too not too thick. Not like pancake batter. You want it a little loose. And you're going to let that cool down because you don't want to strain something. That's too, too hot on your hands. You want it to be cool. And what I use, you can get this at Walmart. I think it's in the craft section. I looked in the grocery section, but it's not there. You have to go in the craft section and get your cheesecloth. So 40 minutes later, this is what it looks like. Nice and thick. It's settled really, really nice. It's nice and juicy and wobbly. Stir it around. <laughs> That's a really great texture right there. And what we're going to do is um, put our cheesecloth over a bowl, or you could put it over a cup. And I doubled it up because this cheesecloth right here, if you can I'll zoom in, the holes are a little bit too big. So... I doubled it up. It just depends on the brand of cheesecloth you get. But um, just so the flax seeds won't go through. And I'm kind of heavy handed so when I do squeeze that, I squeeze hard. And I do not want <laughs> my heavy handedness to mess up my gel. So I get a little scraper and scrape all that mess down. Look at that. Ooh. The first time I made this, I was like, this is disgusting. Why am I making this? But then I put it in my hair. And it'll change your mind, trust me. It looks it looks kind of funny now, but once you put it in your hair, you're going to be like, uh, I'm not buying no gel no more. I'm making this. And it's so easy. It it takes like, minus the cooling down time, it doesn't take much, it doesn't take long at all. So I really encourage you guys to do it. Mm, scrape all that good stuff. I pay for this. Mm. Everything in. And we're going to squeeze. Squeeze it out. Eee. So everything comes. I'm just gonna get really messy. I'm gonna do it again. Because as you can see, this is what it looks like. After, sorry guys, I have a list <laughs> of some strips in my hand, but this is texture. Boop, it did bloop. <laughs> nice and runny. Um, you can stream it again because there's a couple of flaxies in there, but 
I don't really care. But if you want to do it, you know, do it again. But sometimes a little bit comes through. But really, it feels like a big old nasty booger. But it's great for your hair. And the texture is awesome, better than the other ones I've had before. Because I put so much oil in it. So I'm really pleased about how to spit my white shit out. How it came out, so. Hopefully it works out for you. And yeah, it's a better texture than before. Hi everyone, thank you so, so much for watching my video. Um, I hope that you guys can try out this Floxy Gel recipe that I have and present to you guys and hopefully it works out for you. Um, if you try it and you try it in your hair, if you're washing or you twist out, please, please, please tag me in your pictures or in your Instagram stories on Instagram. You'll see my Instagram name coming up soon or on Snapchat if you like. I would love, love, love to see what you guys have done if you made the Floxy Gel and how it turns out in your beautiful hair. Um... And let me know down in the comments below if it worked out for you. If you want to see any other videos or more videos like this, DIY recipes, please comment down below and like this picture so I know that you guys like this video. Um, and if you want to see more of me and can become the family of the Crown Vic family, all the queens and kings, please subscribe to my channel and see more of me. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you're having a really, really great day. Peace and love. Bye, and remember, don't judge me. I am not my hair, okay? Bad hair day. Everyone has one.